Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Jay the Comedian. Uh, I got a story for y'all. All right. I, I don't know why it would take me. Like, I've been thinking about telling y'all about this story, but I just felt like it was inappropriate. But fuck it. I'm just going to tell it to you anyway. Okay. So back in the day, right, on the na- in the neighborhood I lived in, it was this girl on my block. She was so fine. I mean, she was just drop dead gorgeous, right? And I had the biggest crush on her. And um, and whenever I see her outside, I'd run out there real quick and I'm like, "Hey, what's up? What's up, what the man?" You know, just to start a conversation with her, just to be friendly, because I felt like if we could build a friendship, maybe later on I can, you know, let her know, right? So I did this for a couple months or whatever, and then I finally just saw her outside, and I just grabbed some pants off the floor. You know, these, like, just some pants that I just had on the floor. Threw them on, and I ran outside, right? I'm like, hey, what's up? What's up? What's going on? What's going on? And in my head, I'm saying, you know what? Today's the day. Today's the day I'm going to tell her. So I went up to her, and I just told her, like, hey, look, I know we cool and all, but I just need to tell you, I have the biggest crush on me. You are so gorgeous to me, and I just need you to know that. You know what I mean? And then she was like, you know what? I like you, too. I said, what? Really? And I'm like, can I kiss you? She said, most definitely. So we kissing, right? And I'm just going crazy in my head. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you did it, bro. You did it. So um, she's like, you know, my parents aren't here. So if you want to come up, you can. And I'm just like, um, I'm unprepared for that. Okay. I was just literally in my mind i'm thinking okay i'm just gonna tell her i like her she's probably gonna be like you know okay maybe soon then later on i grow on her you know but i did not think it was gonna move that fast so we're going upstairs and and in my head i'm like yo this could turn into something and i'm not prepared at all right so we going upstairs and um, she like, you know, I like you for a long time too, but you know, I couldn't tell you because I feel like it's the guy's job to always come to the woman and be, you know, courageous enough to come through. I'm like, sorry, you are so beautiful that I, you know, it was hard for me to do it. I, I, I didn't want to get rejected. Like I didn't want to have to feel that rejection. So I'm just sitting there like, God, Jehovah, help me. Help me, please. I wasn't trying to go there. I, I mean, I was. I was living a hell of a double life. I'm going to tell you that now. I'm, I'm lying to you right now. I was definitely trying to go there, but I wasn't prepared. Like, this is what I would do in my double life, you know, when I was doing my thing. If I thought that I would get some that night, I'd go buy me some condoms that night. You can't be just walking around with condoms as a Jehovah Witness. If my mama would have did my laundry or anything like that and found a box of condoms, oh, you know how bad it would have went. So... I didn't just walk around with condoms on, but this is what I uh, didn't know at the time. Like two weeks prior, yeah, my room was a fucking mess, whatever. Two weeks prior, those pants I grabbed, I went out with my homeboy to this party. I knew a girl that I knew, that I, you know, used to fool around with would be at this party, and I knew my homeboy would let me use this card anytime I wanted to. So, (laughs) I bought a pack of three condoms. That night, I used two condoms. And then after that, uh, you know, I just had another one in my pocket. Forgot all about it. And somehow, out of all the pants I could have picked to throw on, I picked those pants. So I'm sitting there like, oh, what am I going to do? I touch my pocket, and I swear I feel a condom in my pocket. And I remember that I bought it. And I'm like, oh, thank you, Jehovah. And I had to think, I'm like, wait a minute. Is Jehovah helping me get laid right now? Safely? <laughs> I'm like, that's, that's impossible. Like, that's not something he would do. Or would he? Because, I mean, there's an idea that I've always had of Jehovah in my head. And in my head, Jehovah's a total bro, you know? He loves us. He wants us to have the best and do the best. And he don't want nothing bad to happen to us. Or he don't want us to be in no messed up situation. And he'll look out if he needs to. You know what I mean? That's my thought always. I, you know, they'd always tell me it wasn't. But that's what I thought Jehovah was doing. Now, even though I don't believe in him now, back then, I was like, thank you, Jehovah, for helping me get laid in a nice, safe manner. <laughs> Oh, man. And, and, and the reason I tell y'all that, because it's like a hella sexualized story, but it's a real story. And, and um, I really, at one point, was saying thank you to Jehovah for helping me get laid in a safe manner, you know? 
I don't know. Do y'all got any crazy stories like that? If so, leave them in the comments. Subscribe to my page. Holla at Chiguala. Deuces.